So, Darcy. Uh, I, from what I remember, Darcy's over that way. Yes, he is. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I never go down here without asking for welfare meal. So, what is it going to be this time? This time, hey, Brown. Uh, I'd like a welfare meal, please. Understood. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. So, uh, what are we going to get this time around? Ooh. Delicious poison seafood soup. Wow. Okay. Restores 30% of max HP to the cell of the character and regenerates 790 HP every 5 seconds for 30 seconds. <clears throat> I have four of those. A seafood soup. The buttery soup resembles gilded waves under the bright sun as the rich seafood aromas melt in your mouth. The bounties of the ocean are form a harmonious masterpiece. After emptying the bowl quickly, you can't help but dip the bread in what remains. It would be a great loss, miss even one drop of it. Fortunes though, the secret to staying healthy, don't get sick. Through that. <clears throat> but thank you for this welfare meal. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, let's go see Darcy then. Okay. Oh, hey, Darcy! Talk with me, walk with me. Hello, sir, and hello to your cute companion. Dirty Face Darcy at your service. Dirty Face? <clears throat> That's right. Just call me Dirty Face Darcy. They used to call me Pretty Face on the outside, but that nickname is just so lame. Please just call me Dirty Face instead. Oh, that's just a cool nickname. I wash my face every day. You don't have to stand all the way over, over there. Disgusting. So, um, any news? Too bad it's not time for pen creation yet. Let me think. How about this? Why don't I teach you to have some fun? A few folks have locked horns over the chance to go outside. I had no idea this. No idea of a spontaneous research since you guys dish it out like that. Do you think they'll be here any minute now? What do you think? Think of it as an opening app before the real penetration march starts. Check it out. Okay, let's go then. Let's go. Unfinished comedy. Started. Go see Estienne with Darcy. Oh, okay. Let's go. Rave Engine BF. Hi, Sien. I brought two new friends with me. Huh? Your new friends may have come at a bad time. See that? They're gonna be at it for a while. That's an unscientific way of keeping the score. Besides, the participants were unsupervised. Is that any way to produce convincing results? I'm calling for a reassessment. Re this is a competition, of course. We should have a refined system and fair rules. Participants who don't follow the rules should be disqualified. You thought a good game. I'd expect nothing less from someone who's been through the ringer. If you're referring to the... Wait, who's talking now? If you're referring to the fragile physics case, I've already made my point several times now. 
The chase is still under investigation. It's useless to try and attack my character with something like that. If you say so. After all, you're the only one. Oh, okay, so it was Shenyi speaking. My bad. After all, you're the only one who knows the truth. Oh, it's Genevieve and Rave again. I'll talk to you about my thing later then. I'm gonna bounce for now. I'll leave my two new friends to you. <clears throat> Darcy makes a dash for it. He left us! Just like that. Some died. My mom gives him zero stars. Zero! Mr. Dart, as the organizer, it's not exactly proper for you to stay out of this discussion of the rules, is it? Haha, <laughs> this is just a game to pass the time. How was I supposed to know you'd all get so right up with her? Alone, take it this seriously. Right, why don't we adjust the rules of the game to the new players? A game? Well, I'm definitely going to win. There's no game the two of us can't win. Wait a sec. I still don't know what the game even is yet. Don't try and change the subject. We've already halfway through the game. And they don't even know the fundamental rules. They can't just join you now. Um, so... What are you guys playing? Coupon Millionaire. Uh, Paimon has never heard of such a game. Of course not. This is just what the heartless gods play to make fun of us. Everyone loses, and I'm sure you know who wins. That's not true. You are to earn coupons during the game, and the one that has the most coupons will get an even better reward from me. So everyone wins, but one person wins more than the rest. That means not wrong. A reward better than coupons? What could it be? In Darcy's words, a chance to be under the sun. Some of our, of our periodic checks need to be performed outside, and I get to decide who gets these jobs. It wouldn't be very interesting if I just picked based on my preference. So, I created Coupon Millionaire. And those who want to go outside are free to sign up. Whoever gets the most coupons wins the game. If you feel that your strength alone will be insufficient, you can find others to group up with. As for how you, you earn coupons, I don't care about that. As far as the games go, the rules are really vague. It's part of the strategy. Does the Fontaine Research Institute not have similar... games? Hmm. How about you, Darcy's new friends? Sorry everyone, but I'm going to win. It's not impossible to come back from behind. But only those who have the means will be able to do it. As for them, Estienne, maybe you should arrange a special competition for children. Children's competition? Paimon doesn't know who you are, but you shouldn't underestimate us. We've seen some... Uh, things. It's just a game, and we're gonna cruise through it. Now, I'll definitely be the biggest winner. Oh wow, a real child. And I don't want it at all. Shout out to, shout out to child. That's what Chatter That's what Chater said. And he's never lied to me. What are you all doing here? You Dennistian? I didn't break any rules, did I? In fact, I even increased everyone's work efficiency. And that should be to my credit. 
You know what I mean. You know your know your place, Estian. You're a guard, and you should use your powers to make them obey you. I have my way of doing things, and you, Noels, no, Noels. It's been some time since you arrived here at the fortress. You should try blending in a little more. Laziness, apathy. I'll restore order here, starting with you. Stop this gathering and go back to what you were doing. I'm not as lenient as Estienne. If I'm going to restore order, then punishments are a must. I don't think you want to know what they are. Are there things that I even I don't know? I just... You don't need to waste any of your time in, on this game that would play to kill time. The fortress is huge, and I'm sure there are other things that require your attention. I don't need you to remind me. No else leaves, genuinely ready for return to their respective commodities. Finally. Being serious can be a virtue, but being overly serious is something else. Anyway, um, now that the annoying guy is gone, will you join the game? Darcy's new friends. What sort of person leaves their friends behind, anyway? We aren't that friends. We, we aren't his friends. In fact, Paimon's gonna use his uncool nickname to address him. That pretty face is a jerk. <coughs> Huh? Wait a minute. That nickname doesn't sound all that mean. <laughs> Alright then. What should we call you? Copy Paimon, and this is uh, Limo. As for the game, we'll need more time to think about it. Sure. If you change your mind, please feel free to talk to me. Okay. Coupon Millionaire. Actually, where did that little girl go? Why? I was really intrigued. Should we go look for her and talk to her? Talk to the little girl. She was right there. Last I saw her. Yep. There she was. There you are. Oh, you again. And you're... Uh, are you a bird, little one? A bird? Papa doesn't look a bird. Uh, indeed, Paimon, you don't. That's so strange. You can fly, but you're not a bird. Are you an evil dragon? Or an evil dragon ling? Yeah, we don't know what Paimon is exactly, but... Some speculations tend to believe that she might be um Um well I think you remember at the beginning of the game where the two travelers came to this world and they were uh well arrested by an unknown god. The heavenly principles? Yeah, I don't know. Seems quite shady. Uh. <laughs> the way you eat and your first for will certainly fit the bill. No, they don't. Anyway, he's a limol and Paimon's Paimon. What's your name? I'm Lenoir. So I'm only Miss Paimon. Will you please tell me whether the evil sorcerer is still there? The evil sorcerer? Yes, the black clothes and the staff that has branches sticking out of it. Tater said that I mustn't get spotted, spotted by that sorcerer, or things will get very bad. Uh. Was it the person that we just saw? Yep, Paimon thinks so too. Must have been the god, right? So who's this bad, bad sorcerer? 
Estienne or Noel? Estienne's a good sorcerer. He brought me flowers when he returned last time. They had the same color as my skirt. The jader taught me to put them into boots to make pressed flowers. That way my boots would smell nice too. Is this what they call the fragrance of knowledge? No I then. Estienne said he was annoying too. Paimon doesn't like him either. It seems he doesn't think very highly of us. Anyway, the evil sorcerer is gone now. Still, why is a little jet like you in the fortress of Meripede? I've always been here. Why does everyone ask me that? It's so strange. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. You've always been here? You mean like, um, since the inception of the fortress of Meripede? Okay. Not you do have your own home too. Uh, home to me is where your, f I mean, home to me is where your family is. That's what Jader said too, which is why I have a home that I don't know about. A home that you don't know about. How do you call a place that you don't know home? Wait, I can't. I can't. It's a toughie. I'm sure Jader knows the answer. He knows lots of things and a lot of stories. Might Jader by any chance be a kid who looks about the same age as you? Nope. He's a lot taller than me. Taller than Mr. Traveler here. And taller than the evil sorcerer. But I think he's afraid of the evil sorcerer. He lost his sword and the evil sorcerer has a powerful staff. So he hides when the evil sorcerer comes out. You know what? The same thing with um, a story with fantastic characters. It reminds me of uh, Anne and all the uh, hydromimics. I don't know if there's any other. I mean, I don't know if there's any correlation at all. <clears throat> this data sounds mysterious. And maybe Lenoir is just too young. She hasn't been very clear about herself at all. Maybe the stranger knows more. I I guess we can go meet him. We want we want to meet Chater. Uh will you take us to see him? Sure. But it's too soon to go back. I want to explore this place while the evil sorcerer isn't here. Will you come with me? Uh, let's go. Hey, <coughs> let's go. Okay, let's go the place. The Bowo house is just up ahead. You can sometimes hear Bowow sounds from inside. Maybe that's because I saw an evil sorcerer into once in the place we can draw. Quite. Mrs. Charlotte, why are you here? Careful now, the evil sorcerer might catch you and put you in your cage. The evil sorcerer isn't here right now. I I'm not afraid. <laughs> good, good, good. Atta girl. Okay. Those who come here frequently will walk around this thing in circles. Yeah. Let me said this is a bottom dummy. If you can't earn its approval, then you can enter the Bow Wow house. Hit the punching bag. Wow, now the Solomon can go take on the furry beasts. Um, ouch! I'm sorry. Uh, are you alright? Linus. What happened? It's the evil sorcerer's magic. We'll be trapped if we get caught in it. Sorry. Uh, job, are you? Sorry, uh, the light's broken, and the set spread here isn't anywhere near as good as he claimed. I never said such a, I never said such a thing. Come on. Oh, it's you. 
Sorry, you're a good sorceress. And that bright light really hurt my eyes. So you're not denying that you're an expert? I, ne I would never. That's not what you told Galvana. You mean the thing about the Fountain Research Institute? Well, she asked me first. The fool said that this is a noise board that transforms evil into good. Turning off the noise board elsewhere is very dangerous because it might attract the evil sorcerer. Listen to the noise. Uh, monthly production zone safety measures notice. Ring items are not related to production to the production zone is forbidden. This includes, but is not limited to, box paper selection and other reading materials. Uh huh. Oh, wait. Phew, this adventure is almost at the end end. The two point traffic area is a final stop. Final stop, you say? So, the ultimate destination of adventure is adventure is a good meal. Not bad, right? Adventures take a toll on your body, so eating afterward is a must. That's right, and I've never seen someone as small as Mrs. Paimon. You're even smaller than Mrs. Mrs. Sijuin. I should eat more, so you can grow bigger. Shout out to Sijuin, though. <sighs> the thought of Paimon growing up, ah, uh, that gives me a headache. Huh? Probably thinking about something rude right now, aren't ya? Let's start to brand and see if we'll get something good. Yep, it'd be nice if it was the delicious Tass Radu, though. Oh. Greetings, Brad. Greetings, what can I do for you? Uh. I have a Free meal, please? Understood. Enjoy. And I want two. Enjoy. I'll have one too. <laughs> Understood. Enjoy. Mr. Lemul, Mrs. Pyma, let's open our meals together, alright? Three, two, one. Wow! Mine's Terrace Rodru. What did you two get? Uh. Ugh. I mean, it, it, uh, <laughs> look at Eva's face, <laughs> he's disgusted, uh, it suddenly looks like food, yeah, wow, this looks kind of disgusting, so I got the only good meal, will that be enough if we split it into three portions, there's even a fortune side, what do you say, Apollo's fortune says, Luck only brings fleeting pleasure. Lifelong happiness requires hard work. Shit, <laughs> now Paimon's mad. How about you, traveler? Things happen, don't take it personally. Just. Wow. Mine says misfortune is an illness, and caring friends are the cure. The two of you went on adventures with me, so you're definitely caring, caring friends. But you got the disgusting meals. The sorceress, the sorceress said that I must remember to pay it forward. And now it's my turn to cure you. Let's go to the right and bone shop. Uh, okay. Right and bone shop.
Hello, Alfred. Hey, East Alex. Want a Fanta? We just got a new shipment. How about your friends? So this is the Red and Bone shop. Yeah, Pyro, we've been here. We've been here before. If you have coupons, we have everything from home supplies like Hydro Phantasm Tank Bead on. The devices that can help you in the pancreationry. Our words are trusted and loved by all and sundry. You name it, Red and Bone Shop has it. All right. Uh, devices that helps you? What do you mean? They're for regulars only. Or if you happen to have friends who are our regulars, I suppose I can show them to you. The special items must be pre-ordered though. Or if you're lucky enough, you might find what you want on for the for sale list. We do have the other stuff stocked at all times. So back to my question, how about some photo? Hmm, I want everything until until all the store. That's not going to be a problem. Let's see. We're almost through with this shipment, and only food and drinks are left. But they'll cost you a good number of coupons. Really? Are you sure it won't be a problem? Problem? If you mean coupons, Kate are giving me a ton of them, so I should have enough. The food and drinks here are really great, and you're going to love them, Mrs. Paimon. Jada said that coupons make unfair things fair. Only I got the delicious tasks for Drew at the coupon cafeteria, and that was unfair. So now, I'm going to use my coupons to buy something delicious for the two of you. Something doesn't feel right. But Lenoir said there are plenty of delicious foods and drinks. Estienne said that hunger and gross food reduce our work efficiency and put us in a bad mood. We're going to see Jeter soon, and we wanna we wanna be in a good mood when we see him. There's a typo over here. Uh, that's why we need to fill our stomachs with delicious food. We're counting on you, Huntrell Huntrell Harvard. Marvelous bird egg? A detectable taste that could revive the dead. If you eat it, it can counteract an entire day's worth of misfortunes. Quality wooden board. A high quality wooden blank with numerous uses. Place it under your clothes to block a potentially fatal attack or use it for practicing martial arts. Idle poster. Miss Hina or Gorer. Extremely popular popular in the Zoom and Idle Poser. It is one of the best options of decorating a room. This chance available if a purchased together with cute dolls. Cute doll. Aww. This one's cute. Uh, certified by Rusimov. Even the malleous man can bear the part with it. Can't bear the, to bear with can't bear to part with such an adorable doll. This chance available with purchase to gather with idol posters. The Boar Princess 8, the 8th part of this timeless classic. Delicious tea leaves. Hopefully these delicious tea leaves comes from, come from a uh, Shaolin village in Shenyuvel. Huh? Maybe? Potentially? They had the mysterious effect of awakening the latent wisdom sleeping within. A unique flavor for a unique you. Ah, uh, pure water taste. Pure water taste. Pure water sold by the taste. Once someone drank half a taste and became the champion of the next pancreation uh, tournament, to drink an entire taste you must have bravery surpassing that of a champion. An even stronger digestive system. Casket of tomes, second hand. A cherished 
uh, Cassius at Holmes, that its owner has been forced to part with himself for reasons unknown. For a limited, for a limited time, Trials with a copy of Genus Invitation City from Novus to the Summoner's Summit. Beast Trap? Okay. Uh, Mora candy. Candy that looks like Mora. Uh, the candy itself is pretty sweet. An adult flavor that teens have a hard time appreciating. But the golden wrapping paper is incredibly popular with children. Trout and Tin. Fish fillet of a satisfying size. Fried with uh, butter before serving with a side of crispy fried almonds. According to the traditional recipe for this dish, a whole readied trout will be placed into the frying pan. But a new filler featuring recipe for this dish has been gaining popularity recently as well. Fanta Sweet Sakura Specialized um, flavored Fanta said to use Inazum and Sakura blo blooms as an ingredient. During its manufacture, the amount of sugar was reduced in order to avoid overwhelming the sour flavor, but consumer feedback indicates that uh, the so-called sour flavor is more like the smell of a freshly mown lawn. Red <laughs> Fanta Red Berry Blast Specially flavored Fanta is said to use many different red-colored fruits as ingredients. It has a very enticing crimson color and layered flavor profile. But for reasons unknown, this flavor of Fanta is severely, severely irritating to the bowels. And until the, the underlying reason is discovered, large-scale promotion of this type of Fanta has been suspended. Okay, Barbecue ribs. A crispy meat dish. dish. Lightly fry the surface of the ribs until they exude the faint aroma. Then wrap their crispy exterior sauce and finally grill them slowly on low heat. The meticulous temperature control ensures that the exterior is perfectly crisp uh, while the meat within is kept juicy and tender. And we know Trophy Babawa and Hedges. Hedges. Okay. Sure. Thank you for the business. Wait, wait, so we got all of that? No way. If, Lamo if Lenoir says so, we'll begin. Yep, have a good meal, Miss Pi Mrs. Paimon. Oh, miss. This thing with Lenoir, everything that couldn't be finished ends up in Paimon's belly. Phew, that was amazing. I'm so full, she can barely walk. You don't walk, Paimon. Paimon, you fly. Getting sleepy too. Why are we here again? Why are you here, Lenoir? It's a trans transgression. I've always been here. I'm on members now. We're supposed to be looking for Tater. Let's go. I know. I don't know if he's there. If not, we can wait. Might be back soon. Did we get all that? No way. I need to buy somebody. Sold out. Okay. Get a new shipment soon. Okay, so we need to go up. tells me stories in the evening, so he doesn't come back soon. Just wait a bit, and he'll be back. Sounds like a great brother. Yeah, Jake is really good at telling stories. Ooh, ooh and look, my braids, he braided them for me too. Hey. Who is Cheater? <clears throat> oh, this is Cheater. I think. Cheater, I'm back! Welcome back, Noir. Caterpillar. 
So chatter, it's not cheater, it's chatter. <laughs> Alright. Chatter pillar. Uh, is it like Alice in Wonderland? Welcome back, Lenoir. It's like you made some friends. Yes, they are Mr. Lenoir and Mrs. Paimon. Mrs. Paimon is small and she can fly, but she's not a bird. She's not silly either. Maybe a small ocean it? No wonder no one has seen anything like her or knows anything about her. I'm a Paimon. That's right, Paimon's just Paimon. She's not a silly or a notion it. Wait, you chatter? You look about the same age as Lenoir. Nice to meet you, Mr. Limul, Mrs. Paimon. Okay, um, wait. Please draw me Chatter Pillar. Okay, guys, uh, this kid here? Is definitely not normal. Look at his arms, and his legs, and the, the way his eyes are. With the late, with the pupils being so dilated. Hmm. Uh, please don't be so formal. It feels so strange. Since you're the Noir's friends, sure, I can do that. Wait a minute. We've heard the name Caterpillar before, haven't we? Uh, did we? Don't remember. From who? Ah, oh, that's right, Julien. Oh, that guy? Okay, yeah. Uh, ah, that's right, Julia, the painter we met at uh, Samudra Coast. Do you remember him? So you're the caterpillar he mentioned. You've met Julia? He really went to Samara, huh? How is he? Well, you tell him about the meeting with Julia and Samara. According to Julia, his ability to paint everything exactly as he sees it came from you. Did you really give him that power? Is that really what he said? I can't decide if he was exaggerating. Wait, so he was lying? The painting you made from Full Pepper looked so real, even though the color was a bit off. That was an ability you already had. What I did was to give him certainty. The fewer the person, the more obvious the effect of such support is. Your? Huh? Well, he did look kind of gullible. And as for... Wait, wait. As for the Tillies that activate in Maiba's potential, and the marvelous big bird egg, he did spend a lot of coupons to get them, yes. I don't know that he would break his certain he would break his certainty like that. I guess you could say that things turned out for the best though. Anyway, both you and Lenoir are children, right? So is your guardian here? Why are the two of you in a place like this? Chad is not a child. Indeed. I am not. As for my present appearance, you can think of it as an illness of sorts. Yes, that's what it seemed. Huh? So that's how it is. I've been here for a long time, well, because of what I've done in the past. But it's more complicated for Noir. She was born here. <coughs> here? In the fortress? You're a strange one, Miss Paimon. I've already told you that I've always been here, haven't I? Agnes, her mother, 
was plagued by a chronic illness and passed away some time ago. Aww. I unsticked my nose into other people's lives, so I didn't know about their situation. But regardless, Lenoir wound up with no one to take care of her. Maybe it's because I've been here for a long time, and Lenoir has taken to me. But either way, this chance asked me to look after her. So that's how it is. But she shouldn't be here, right? It's not like she's done anything wrong. You're right. I'm just looking after her for now, and Shirley should be with her family. And fortunately, she does indeed have family outside the fortress. So that's what she meant when she said she has a home that she doesn't know about. And will she be able to reunite with them soon? About that, things are a little complicated, and I'm afraid it won't happen all that soon. How come? Jessie doesn't have any proof of identity. Maybe Agnes didn't think of that either. She was the one who would have needed to start the process to send Lenoir away from the fortress. Uh, how about her other family members? The Sien said that Agnes wrote them in the past. Wrote them in the past. Wrote to them? In the past but that she never received a reply and thus stopped trying altogether. If they knew about the current situation, they might change their minds. That's why I want to take her to her family. And if they don't want to take her in, we'll figure something else out then. What? Why can not I stay here? Sure, there's an evil sorcerer. There's a good sorcerer. And you're here too. I don't want to leave. Mother never came back after leaving the fortress. If I leave... Does that mean that I'll never come back? Just like my mother? And I'll never see you again either? Chatter? And you slept? I don't think Lenoir can comprehend what's happened. Ah. Uh -huh. Either way, there's no place for a child to grow up. How will this proud bloom without sunlight? should get out of this place, Lenoir. You've heard all the stories already. The real world outside and the family that you are connected to. I'll go with you so you needn't be afraid. I believe you. You never lied to me. But how will you get her out without proof of identity? Is there anything we can do to help? Uh, is there... Is there some, uh, loophole or backdoor we can use? There are options, but they are too risky. How about this, then? Let's follow the rules, albeit not that strictly. How will that work? Every so often, Istian will bring a few people with him to do some work outside. We'll use this chance to get Lenoir back to her family. She doesn't have any proof of identification to begin with and the disappearance of someone who never existed on paper isn't exactly going to make news here in the fortress. You're not talking about Groupon Millionaire, are you? Paimon remembers Istian saying that whoever gets the most coupons within the time limit will win the chance to go outside. Oops. Our coupons went straight to our stomachs. Ah, in the north with Tom Morton, the right and bone sharp out. We just will lose now. What are we gonna do? We won't lose. If Chad says we'll win, we'll definitely win. In the war, uh, Paimon suspects that you aren't grasping the gravity of the situation at all. Can we get the coupons refunded? You can just see that she's a child who didn't understand the rules. As the transaction already took place, I'm afraid that won't be so easy. It's fine. The coupons I gave to Lenoir were for her to use as she pleased. The little mishap won't change the outcome. Mama still feels kind of bad though. Why don't we help you? Mama remembers Estienne saying that you can play the game as a group. Really? 
this fine mode, even Mr. Limu will play the dream with us too. Yep, and we'll win this together. With us here, this will be a piece of cake. There are four of us, after all. Still, how can we get the most coupons in the least amount of time? I already feel much better knowing that you'll be helping us. If you both ask for how to get the coupons, I have a few ideas, but that can wait until tomorrow. You must be exhausted. If you don't mind, why don't you rest up first? There's enough space here. Hmm, good idea. Traveler, if you're tired, why don't we call it an early night? Mr. Limul, Miss Paimon, and I tried a really wonderful tasting Fanta. Miss Paimon drank a whole lot of it. She didn't drop down at all. She must know a lot of powerful magic then. Oh yeah. Okay. Might definitely. Duh. <laughs> yeah, she might definitely do, yeah. Yeah, Miss Paimon's so strong. Are really prepping up the inevitable confrontation between us, I mean the Traveler and Paimon, seems. Um, rest. I'm feeling a little tired, should we rest now? Oh. Yeah, let's rest. Chatter, what story are you going to tell me today? I've already heard a lot of stories with heroes as the main characters. Uh, today I'll tell you a story about a little girl then. Little girl? Can little girl also be the main character? Of course she can. It's, an, it's her own story after all. In other stories, she might be a hero herself, or even an evil dragon. There are all kinds of roles uh, she can play. Sorry. <laughs> long, long ago, there was a little girl who lived in a giant's garden. The giant took special care of the flowers in the garden. It wouldn't allow anyone to pluck even a single one of them. To keep intruders out, the giant built a towering wall around it. Because of this, the little girl living in the giant's garden had never set foot outside of it even once. The giant always told her that the world outside was a dangerous place, and that the garden was the safest place she could live in. And then what? Did the little girl listen to the giant? I bet she didn't. If she did, then the story would, would end there. Alright, the little girl never was one for doing what she was told. Uh huh. As for the rest of the story, well, let's save that for the next time. Wait, where did Chatsful and Noir go? Did we all sleep? Let's go look for them, traveler.